Hey guys, Crewman here coming at you with another PSA. I've been getting a lot of questions saying, hey Crewman, can I use this Corsair cable for the 4090 with XX PSU from another brand? And the answer is no. I want to go over what is safe to use as far as power cables, when you can use them, what's compatible with what, and how to figure out what's compatible with what. So in this video, I'll be using some EVGA power supplies as an example. Uh, in terms of my mining farm, I have either server power supplies, one or two Corsair power supplies, and the rest are all EVGA, uh, and they have an interesting compatibility. So I want to use that as an example to go over what is safe and what isn't safe. So first, let's go over these power supplies. This first one is an EVGA 750 GT. And the second one is a 750 G3. Now the cables I want to show you are the, this is the Corsair cable that is used for the 4090, just as an example to show you what's not safe. I've got two other cables. I've got a CPU cable and it's labeled G3 on the side. I've got a VGA cable labeled G, GA on the side. And then I've got two cables I've got a VGA labeled GQ, and I've got another VGA cable labeled GQ. So there are three different, there are four different cables here for two different power supplies with different names. So how do I know what's safe? Well, let's head to the internet. All right, guys. So we're on the EVGA website. I'll put a link to this down below. Um, you, you can follow the guide and it says what which modular cables are compatible with my PSU. Um, it gives you the disclaimers where you can only use their cables and it explains how everything is different. Basically everything that I was saying where you have to be careful what you use. Those EVGA GQs, which are semi-modular power supplies. I bought a bunch of those during the mining bull market because I was getting them for $30 to $40 shipped, which is incredible. When you from EVGA B stock, when you consider how much everything cost back then, so I have quite a bit of those, and they actually only work with each other, so that's something to keep in mind. So those GQ cables will not work on any of the EVGA GA G2 GT models. So now, if you look down here, um, power supplies based on the G2 P2 T2. That's also like GA. G2, G3, GT pinout and see right here how they're all compatible with each other. And you need to start, that's what you need to check out. That's your guide. Now other websites have that as well. Let's pull up Corsair. Here you can see Corsair's compatibility chart. A lot of people were asking me, Crutman, is that Corsair 4090 adapter is uh, cable, is that compatible with my power supply? And it basically shows you right here um, it's a type 4 pin, so it's compatible with most of these HX power supplies right here, as you can see. And it shows you the design, it shows you the models that you're compatible with. And it's also compatible with the AX and the AX Gold, not the HX though. But anyway, you can see what you're compatible with right here. And it shows you the different kinds of cables down here. And note with Corsair, they're literally only referring to their own cables. You can't use other cables unless it's a third party specifically designed for Corsair, which I get, it'll tell you. So let's try another company and see what they say. So if we check out Seasonic's site, and I'll put this down on the link below as well, it specifically says um, do not use power supply or do not use cables that do not come with your power supply as they may void the warranty. So they're actually very specific here as well. So as you can see, it is very, very, very important to follow the guides that your power supply company has. So when in doubt, you need to start, you need to go to these guys, whether it's Seasonic, Corsair, or EVGA, they'll tell you exactly what you can use with what. And some companies that have different brands allow their cables to be intermixed. But again, I would only do that if it specifically says you can do it on the site. So let's go check something like a cable mod cable where it shows you what's le what you can use it with all right so i'm on cable mod site and it says we've got many questions from everyone regarding our products 
and exactly which ones are compatible with. So see the list below. So let's go with uh, EVGA, for example. So the compatibility right here, it says E-Series or Custom Configurator. So let's go with the GQ850, that's Custom Configurator only. So I guess you can specifically design your cables, but like I said, it literally says the power supply you're using. So again, you really, really need to be careful and do your homework on these. All right, guys, and another thing you can do, honestly, now I don't recommend doing this, but a lot of times they just don't work. So, like, if I'm going to try to put this Corsair in this VGA slot on this EVGA cable, it's not working. Like, I can't, I'm not going to force it in because I don't want to damage the cable, but it's not working. And that's, that's an easy sign that it doesn't work. Even in the same company, though, even if you can put it in, you still need to do your research and make sure it's right. So, like... This GQ cable just went into this G3 power supply, but it is not compatible and it is not safe. And if you were to accidentally do this and it doesn't turn on, the first thing you need to do is to make sure you have the right cables in. Because thankfully, a lot of high-end power supplies will stop you from making the wrong decision when you should be inserting this cable. Anyway, this was just a quick PSU PSA. I hope this helped. Uh, please, 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 please do your research and don't make any mistakes because it would really be terrible if you blew your power supply out because you put this cable into this power supply. Anyway, I hope this content helped you. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I know your time is valuable. Again, please like and subscribe. Man, out.